all right guys so i have something uh, quite heavy in this bag and a few other stuff bits and pieces yeah i think we're gonna be a nice uh mailbag video if you're passionate of electronics and you like gadgets and tools and you want to keep it cheap you are on the right place because usually i'm buying cheap stuff and uh, whatever i feel that are goodies and uh, good quality and i'm doing this mailbag video like that i can share with you guys and i can display also the links on the description down below like that if you are interested on anything cheap and good just feel free and use the link so let's see what are on these bags Right, so let's get uh, this green one okay let's start with the green color tonight and uh, I feel something something I feel there something I feel there all right so these one are some plastic tweezers so why am I ordering plastic tweezers Hey, well, you know those sponges to clean the PCB board. If you are using a metal one and uh, you can press hard on the PCB board, you can might knock out some components. And with the plastic one, I definitely I cannot, I will not be able to scratch the board, and I will not be able to do such a force in order to knock out components from the board. So I take this one only mainly to use with that sponges to clean the board. So let's see how much cost these plastic tweezers. Here we go. One piece is new anti-static plastic tweezer, heat resistant, repair tools, portable. So costing 64 pence. I pay only 59 pence, so really cheap. Eight days delivery. And here we go. Here is the listing. Let's call it TLZWLA, whatever they want to see with that one. 4.8 star reviews what you want to know one description the dimension so it's 10 millimeter thick and length 170 millimeters yeah a plastic tweezer just to use for the sponge and cleaning the pcb bolts if you are interested check the link on the description down below all right this one it's a bit bulky saint jam Beijing, Ming core electronics .co. okay so electronics let's see which electronics all right nice 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 one two three four and five arduino nanos version three the really very small tiny one i can see there right so another five like that i can uh, finish my gadgets the one with the pcb 10 pcbs the pulse voltage injector for uh, detecting with the camera thermal camera much easy the shorted component on the board so i think this is gonna be my last uh, arduino nano orders and i'm gonna complete those borders and uh, who is interested to have one just uh, check my email and uh, let me know i definitely i'm gonna give them to who they might want this uh, gadget so let's see how much cost this uh, five arduino nanos for arduino nano mini ultra small type c development board okay eight days delivery five pieces 11 pounds 99 costing i pay only five pounds 63 <laughs> really good good discount i really like it okay so here we go you can buy one piece you can buy five pieces you can buy 10 pieces or 20 pieces sometimes you get a discount uh, with the, this kind of uh, order uh, around 18 pounds or sometimes it's coming discount using the coins here we go 4.8 star review people like it and i do like it too and description what you can see more than the arduino i think everyone who is familiar with arduino it's easy to connect it's easy to upload codes and it's fun to play with them they have a few rgb leds uh, on board i don't know if are the one that are addressable or just simple ones so see this one here are uh, rgb this led one led two and led three and then you have simple leds over there yeah i like the board i got them to complete those boards with my gadget and uh, have that just uh, final stock and i think i will not make it more than that and if you are interested in these arduinos check the link on the description down below all right i feel sort of cable on this one so definitely i'm gonna not use the blade because i don't want to cut the 
cable. So I'm going to try to open it in this way. And here we go, we have a nice cable over there, USB A to USB C. Uh, it is stays 3 or is 3.2, maybe or we're gonna say on the description. So I run out of the lots of USB C connectors, cables. It is really flexible, I really like it. It's really flexible, so soft, yeah, I really like it. I don't know the speed of this one, we're gonna check on the description, but uh, yeah, it looks cool. It's black, I don't know if the colors means to tell you if it's a USB 3, is a USB 3.2. I'm not too much familiar, what I know that I need uh, more cables because I run out of them. And uh, let's see the price on this one. So here we go, cable time, 3 amps USB Type-C cable, fast charging USB cable, QC3 data, something like that. Anyway, costing £3.53. I paid £3.35, so also here there is some discount. Eight days delivery, and uh, this is the listing over there. So it says the cable is 18 watts for iPhone 15, Samsung, blah, blah, blah. So it's just 18 watts. So mostly I get it for data. I think it's doing fast data. I think I read it here 480 megabytes per second. Hopefully, we're gonna be all right for my transferring data and stuff like that. No reviews. So, people, I am the first one who bought this one. So, more than three amps for current and 480 megabytes high speed transmission. There is no more that I can say, it's just a USB cable. And if you are interested on this particular one, check the link on the description down below. Here we go, the next one is a yellow one. I feel something hard in this side. So maybe I can do a cut in that side. And it's not only one thing in this one, there is two things. So I'm gonna take one by one. Mijing! Do you know Mijing? Mijing, yeah. So Mijing should be a tweezer for my collection, which I uh, find it interesting one. If I can get it out from here. Yeah, there is also the certificate quality control. It's a nice, very light. You don't feel nothing in your hands. So is Mijing and Z sixteens is quite wider opening and believe me you don't feel no weight on this one. They really lightweight and they are really strong. Yeah. I hope that are titanium, I don't know. But I really like them, so that's why I got them. Yeah, they're really sharp and fine. Hope my camera wants to focus on this one. Hi, please, camera. Yeah, so they they focus. So now the camera focus on my tweezer. So they, yeah, they really look sharp. And are Mijing NZ16. So let's see how much cost me this nice tweezer. I really like them. So here we go, Mijing NZ. 16 titanium alloy tweezers so yeah they definitely are really strong they're not bending they really are light light 0.1 millimeter ultra sharp it is says how many grams have because believe me are really light seven grams i can see there seven grams so are really really light so that's why i got them because the other tweezers are quite heavy but this one is really really light so 4.9 star review people like it and on description it says that it's a titanium alloy tweezer non-magnetic ultra precise and corrosion resistance for gripping cheap and fine components yeah they really have a nice design and i do like them because our um, i didn't see this thing over there so well, I'm gonna my check again. Anyway, they're really light and you don't feel nothing that you have in your hands. And if you are interested on these tweezers, check the link on the description down below. Let's see what else is in this bag. So in this bag we have that one and nothing else. 
and this one is RFTZ01. So what do you think is? Die. Put your comment down below. What do you think is this one? Ta-da! Another tweezers. But why they are opened? Who knows why they are open it? So this one are the RF. I never tried this brand. I know that they are doing also hot air stations, they are doing soldering station, and I don't know how good is the brand. So that's why I say let me start with the tweezer. And from the beginning I can say that they don't match too much good the tips. They are one in one side, one in one side, so you need to do a bit like that in order to bring them back to the right place. I can find that one is longer, one is shorter a bit, so are not properly precise here. Yeah, I don't know if my camera wants to focus to, sh to tell to, to show you. So I can see this one is shorter, that one is longer. And when you close in, look, they don't close in properly. One is closing. You need to push it a bit. This one in there, in order to close good. By the way, feel strong material, and we're gonna see how they work. So my first wizard from RF, ah, you can see that are not precise there. So it's like this one needs to come down, and this one needs to go up a bit there, something like that in order to make them. Yeah, so this one is up. So they know a properly precise precise on the tip. So anyway, let's see how much costing this. Uh, RF tweezers, RF4 actually. So here we go, this is the RF4 RFTZ01 or 02 ultra sharp stainless steel non-magnetic tweezer. They have only the TZ02 right now available, TZ01 is not available or both of them not available. So only TZ02 still available and 4.9 star review. I don't know, for me I feel that they are not properly precise precise on the tip. And on description it says that this new ultra sharp stainless steel non-magnetic tweezer mobile phone flying wire la 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 la. Right, this how they look. They look nice, but I say the finishing and the precise tip to be together uh, is not that much precise. Anyway, if you want to give it a try on these tweezers, Check the link on the description down below. And we reach to the last one, which is quite heavy and bulky. Just a little cut over there. And nice wrap. I really like that. Let's cut a bit this foam around over here. Cut a bit the foam around. Hope I don't cut my fingers. And we have a nice kit over here. I can see the PCBs over there. Yeah, who knows which type of kit is this one? Hmm. Okay, how many tape they use it? Use it quite a lot of tape, you know? Look, it's full of tape over here, there, there, everywhere. Right. You can see chunky transistors. Infinity is an amplifier. A tiny boards for a tiny for not uh, making too much uh, high case for it tiny bit so you can use a small compact size uh, enclosure I will not open now because uh, I will open when I start building so that's why please subscribe activate notification bell to don't miss when we're gonna test this amplifier through the bug I can see quite good quality components over there, the capacitors, resistors, and all the cheapy cheapy ones, I think are the Yaego or Yaego, how they call it those ones. You can find them also in Moser. Nice connector over there, not the cheapy ones. A green uh, resistor which uh, I don't remember exactly the brand of that one but I know that is a good quality too. 
multi-turned trim pot to adjust the bias, I believe. Screws, thermal isolations, and two PCB boards for a stereo version. Yeah, let's see the listing. So two pieces L12 to dual channel amplifier board, 150 watts plus 150 watts is a really powerful amplifier. DIY kit costing 17 pounds and 6.79 pence. I pay exactly the same price, so no discount on this one. Eight days delivery and have a look on this one. Each is uh, i believe i build on my channel l12 before but it's not this kind of board it's a different board a different version so i got this one because it's really cheap just 17 pounds for such a powerful amplifier and i want to compare it with the, the other version of this amplifier i believe the schematics is looking almost the same you can buy the ready-made or DIY kit I got the DIY kit because I like soldering so here you go five star review people like it as well L12 uh, 2 amplifier post stage kit post stage kit what does mean high performance amplifier design and rigorously tested by LGM itself. All right, so the voltage is positive negative 55 volts. At 50 volts, you should have an 8 ohm 120 watts per channel, 200 watts at 50 volts for 4 ohm speaker. Have a look on THD 0.00005% 1 kilohertz frequency injected at 10 watts. Should be a really low THD. Dumping coefficient greater than 200 at 8 ohm low. Input sensitivity 1.6, frequency response 15 Hz to 50 kHz, which is really good, and you lose just minus 3 dB on the ends. From 20 to 20, you're just losing minus 0.02 dB. So 30 milliamp is the Kaisen current, and you can power it starting from plus minus 12 volts. I believe you're gonna have very low power up to plus minus 55 volts so depend of which transformers you have this is gonna work definitely and we were gonna might build another amplifier if i can find a cheap chassis and if you're interested on this amplifier check the link on the description down below so nice variety a cable to see how good it is because i still need them and if i'm good i'm gonna might buy some others because I say I have really less USB C's. I have a lot of the USB mini or micro how it was before, but now looks like everything is running in USB C. So I need to make a collection of USB C cables. Arduinos to complete my gadgets. Plastic tweezers to clean the PCB using that sponge over there. Really difference in weight to more tweezers for my collection rf4 that i'm not happy with how the ntpt is and this one that i really like them a lot and one nice amplifier which we're gonna make a video building and testing and comparing with the previous version i believe it's called the same l12 and we're gonna see which format pcb perform better this format or the previous format so stay tuned for that. So they are really good stuff and really cheap for the amplifier, just 17 pounds. Where on earth you can get an amplifier with that such a price? Lots of components around. Even if you want just to buy components, you're gonna spend more than that. Tweezers to have for me. And definitely, if you are interested on them, check the link on the description down below. You're gonna find also the links for all the components and all the tools and equipment which I have around my working bench. Check the links and maybe you like something because I like to be cheap. And if you enjoy it, the most important, hit the like button. Really will gonna help me a lot. And if you enjoy this video and you are new on it, hit the subscribe button activate notification bell to don't miss my next videos until the next one guys have a good one bye bye